for konteks sedikit uh, saya itu orangnya suka ngedumel kalau ngelihat orang di online shop yang masih nanya harga padahal udah tertera gitu suka sebel gitu terus kayak bilang kenapa sih orang Indonesia tuh masih baca padahal saya juga jarang banget baca <tuh> tapi ada satu buku yang saya pegang dari SMP judulnya Tuesday with Mori tentang tentang seorang uh, dia kayak kelas pekerja gitu di Amerika uh, yang tiap hari Selasa konsul sama profesor yang kayak di akhir hidupnya dia tentang banyak hal tentang kehidupan dan cinta asik nah, sekarang uh, saya mau bacain beberapa paragraf dari bukunya <tuh> pertama uh, diambil dari Selasa pertama uh, we talked about the world Mitch, you asked about caring for people I don't even know. But can I tell you the thing I'm learning most with, with this disease? What's that? The most important thing in life is to learn how to give out love and to let it come in. Sambil saya garisin gitu. Then his voice dropped to a whisper. Let it come in. We think we don't deserve love. We think if we let it in, we'll become too soft. But a wise man named Levin said it, said it right. He said, love is the only rational act. He repeated it carefully, pausing for effect. Love is the only rational act. Lalu paragraf berikutnya, dari hari Selasa ke... Sebentar, saya lupa. Uh, ya pokoknya next Tuesday lah. Oh, the fourth Tuesday. Oh, sorry, kelima kelima. <clears throat> We talk about love. If you hold back on the emotions, if you don't allow yourself to go all the way through them, you can never get to being detached. You're too busy being afraid. You're afraid of the pain. You're afraid of the grief. You're afraid of the vulnerability that loving entails. But by throwing yourself into these emotions, by allowing yourself to dive in all the way, over your head even, you experience, experience them fully and completely. You know what pain is, you know what love is, you know what grief is, and only then can you say, all right, I have experienced that emotion, I recognize that emotion, now I need to detach from that emotion for a moment. Okay. Paragraf terakhir dari hari Selasa ke-9. Hmm. Oh, no, really got me. Someone asked me an interesting question yesterday. Maurice said now, looking over my shoulder at the wall hanging behind me. A cult of hopeful message that friends had stitched for him on his 17th birthday. Each patch on the kilt had a different message. Stay the course. The best is yet to be. Worry, always no, number one in mental health. What was the question, I asked. If I worried about being forgotten after I died, well, do you? I don't think I will be. I've got so many people who have been involved with me in close, intimate ways, and love is how you stay alive even after you are gone. Terima kasih saya Alfat. Don't forget to wash your hands. Spread love, not fire. <laughs>